so this is another question in newton raphsell method so evaluate square of the root 28 to four decimals by newton raphsell method so here there are two ways so for finding the square root of 28 we can find the square root of 28 by using the square root of newton raphsell method general formula that is xi plus 1 it is equal to 1 by 2 into xi plus n by xi so this is general formula for square root or else you can also use xi plus 1 it is equal to xi minus f of x by f dash of x so if you use this formula you are going to take f of x it is equal to x square minus n so n is nothing but x square minus 28 so for this we need to find the interval of a comma b okay the interval a comma b lies between 5 comma 6 okay so you need to take initial approximation x not for find you, you need to take initial approximation in between 5 comma 6 and you need to proceed further so for now i am using the general formula of the square root i am using the general formula of the square root xi plus 1 it is equal to 1 by 2 into xi plus n by xi so here we know that the 28 the square root of 28 lies between 25 this is 28 and this is 36 okay so uh, this square root of the group lies between 5 and 6 so i am taking initial approximation x not as x not is equal to 5.5 so for finding the x1 x1 is equal to 1 by 2 into x not plus n by x not it is equal to 1 by 2 into what is x not x not is 5.5 plus n is 28 by 5.5 so it is equal to 5.29545 this is x1 so now we need to find x2 x2 it is equal to 1 by 2 into x1 plus n by x1 is equal to 1 by 2 into 5. 29545 plus 28 by 5.29545 and it is equal to 5.2915 okay now i am going to find x3 x3 is equal to 1 by 2 into x2 plus n by x2 it is equal to 1 by 2 into 5.2915 plus 28 by 5.2915 and it is equal to 5.2915 okay so here x3 this is here x3 and x2 both are same 5.2915 and 5.2915 the successive approximations are equal hence we can stop here so the root of the equation x square minus 28 it is equal to 5. 2915 this is equal to x it is equal to root of the equation nothing but root 28 it is equal to 5.2915 this is the root of the equation if you have any doubts please comment below i will provide the notes in the description thank you